just start when you feel like she's ready? Or? She can say okay. whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. And if you do it in the first person with her, mm-hmm. you don't have to say she. Mm-hmm. Just, just allow yourself to speak. She's allowed to say whatever she wants. This stupid woman, she's finally, finally. She's finally talking for you. Yes. It's a bit, bit, it's a bit frustrating trying to get work through people who just resist it. Huh? She's, so, she's just resistant so much and, you know, like, uh, I... You keep pestering her and pestering her and it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. like, she just shuts down to even feeling me there, being there. Yeah. And uh, there's so much, so much I want to say to everybody and sure. and these women and I've talked to her about that before and she's just said, no, I won't do that. Mm-hmm. There's so much that needs to be said to women on this earth and... You're allowed and to swear as well. <laughs> Yeah, she was this godforsaken fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> it's just falling apart. The whole place is falling apart. Yeah. And <coughs> and we've been trying for these thousands of years, thousands of years. Yep. To have you listen to us. You listen to us once. And then you don't listen to us again. Who listens to you once? Who listened to you once? The people that we ruled. The Hmm. people who... That you ruled when you were on earth. Yes, yes. And then they listened to us for a while. So what kind of life was it when you were on earth? That the women ruled? The women women ruled and and the men did rule too. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, and then uh, as when I was on Earth, mm-hmm. the men ruled. Yep. I ruled to some degree mm-hmm. because I had power. How did you have your power? I had power because of my father mm-hmm. and my brothers. Mm-hmm. And so I had power over women and men. Mm-hmm. And then when when I died, I was I was killed. I was killed. Mm-hmm. And then because of who I was, people still looked to me. And so I had power then Mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And that power has dissipated over time. You're frustrated about that? I'm very incredibly frustrated, hugely (laughs) frustrated. Mm -hmm. And there's just no understanding of how we can help you. How we can help you to (coughs) regain the lives that you want, that you desire, that we can help you do that. And what lives do you think that it's like, that you're wanting to, you feel we want to have? Well, you want to be able to um, be looked after and, and be protected. There's a lot of need for protection, I feel, amongst all of the people here. Mm-hmm. Except you, I don't understand why you. (laughs) And this has been very frustrating and why this woman keeps wanting to listen to you. Mm -hmm. So you'd prefer she didn't listen? Well, yes, Mm. of course, because she won't do what we want her to do. Mm -hmm. And she continues to defy (coughs) me. We have a bit of control. Mm -hmm in that she 
you know, when she doesn't want to feel sometimes, and that's totally fine. We will, you know, like work with that. But she continues to pray to this God, this fucking God. Who is this God? She prays to. Mm -hmm. And then the, these other, the women, the other women that we have dominion over mm -hmm. are questioning now. They're more questioning. Mm -hmm. And it's very disruptive. It's Do very, you laugh? Very disruptive. You laugh. For your, it's very for disruptive. Your yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very disruptive mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. ever since I was a child. You always I had have, yes. subjects. I had subjects. Mm -hmm. I had servants. Mm -hmm. I have never, never been treated except as someone to be looked to. And you're feeling like now you're getting treated with disrespect. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's this, these ripples of of fear and fear is something I just do not allow myself to feel I don't relate to it mm -hmm. I see that they are emotions that I can control others with. with so you use other people's fear well yes and this I feel is the difference between me and people like me mm -hmm. and them Mm -hmm. So the thing you're confused about with me is that I don't seem to have much fear, but I don't use other people's fear against them either. Yes, it's you're like a, a totally different type of person, mm -hmm. a different being altogether. Mm -hmm. And while I've tried to ignore you mm -hmm. and tried to dissuade and still and try to dissuade mm -hmm. many away from you mm -hmm. I'm just so fucking over it mm -hmm. so you would like to have control of a lot more people well this is my purpose when you say it's your purpose, who gave you this purpose? I was born to this purpose. So this is an opinion of your parents? Yes, yes. So... Yes, my parents were great right. beings. Yep. Do you know where they are now? <coughs> I haven't seen them for a long time, But you're parents. in the spirit world, so you'd think that you'd be able to see them. They are, not, they are no longer with me. Do you want to go and visit them? Where could they be? Well, I can ask somebody to take you to them if you want. <laughs> She'd like to explain why you're crying. How would you know? How would you know? I wanted to see my parents. How well, would you know this? Well, because I can feel in you that you have a strong feeling of uh, of honour towards them, feel like that. and you miss them. Huh? You feel like you've been doing things alone for a long time, and. Yeah, I've been a bit confused about where they would be. Yeah. I have spent my life trying to honour their memory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> Let them down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because you're dominion over others, is, is 
ask your spirit who knows where they are to come to you and just take you for a moment to where they are. unloving 
results in our becoming darker and more ugly. exists everywhere in the universe actually God is able to get to every place in the universe but actually it's your parents that created where they now live not God your parents created it through their choices through their decisions and choices that they made them doesn't my love doesn't my love help him your love certainly helps them but it's the amount of love that's in their soul that determines where they live not the amount of love that's in yours does that make sense to you and the problem is while they're on earth although you love them and even while you were on earth while other people may have loved you the choices and decisions that you've made due to you believing a lot of things that are out of harmony with love will cause your soul and have caused the souls of your parents to darken so much that they've become ugly. And can I explain why? Every person who's in your position of power requires thousands or hundreds of thousands of people to be in a position of subservience. Can I make a suggestion to you, to you? Can you imagine what it would be like to be one of your servants? servant getting beaten, how would you feel? <laughs> Do you remember the servants who you killed? <laughs> and some of them that you tortured to death? Because of what you felt was a just, a just cause? I was I was their servants like they would have themselves treat, be treated. See, every person needs to be treated with honour and respect and love and kindness and consideration. And that's not what happened. Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> there is a lot you can do about it now, though. <laughs> but but being angry with Diana about her listening to you is not the way to go. just like your parents taught you to do. Yeah. And, and what I'd like to suggest to you is that we ask some of those spirits who have worked through those issues of unloveliness to come and help you through yours. Does that sound all right with you? And there are some queens that used to be, have you heard of the queens of England? Some of whom you were trying to influence, yes. <laughs> the reason why she distressed is that um, she influenced quite a few of the queens of England into doing some pretty <laughs> Quite a few hundred years for the queens, and uh, but some of those queens are now in the celestial sphere. So, <laughs> they killed many. They killed many. Yeah. <laughs> they beheaded their husbands. some of the emotions you feel. Does that make sense to you? And they'll tell you exactly what you need to do to be happy. God that does exist does forgive. (laughs) 
least we would seem fairly lame that day. So why don't we leave you in their company? I, I am willing. You'd be able to trust me? I am willing to face that. Yeah. You'd be able to trust them. I must. Yeah. There's a lot they can do to help you. Yeah. <laughs>